Welcome back to the Honda Shadow Bobber build. In this video, I'm going to be stripping the tank of the paint. I don't know if you can tell, but it's already starting to chip a little bit. But I'm going to strip it of the paint. It's going to be completely paint free. I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to keep it bare metal. And then I'm also going to clear coat it once I'm finished so it doesn't rust. But the products I'm going to be using is just a flat paintbrush. Some heavy duty rust -Oleum aircraft remover. This stuff is gnarly. And I didn't have a paint scraper, so I went to the arts and crafts store and just bought some protractors, triangles, and a ruler. Because I figure they have the same edge as the uh, paint scraper. And it was only four bucks. So whatever. So yeah, those are my products. There's a tank, and let's get to it. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. Let me scrape it and see if it comes off. It should because it's starting to bubble. Now it's too dark out here. Oh boy. Let's get a closer shot of that. Ooh, that comes right off. Wow. All right, it's too dark to kind of film the whole thing out here, but I'm gonna get the scraping and I'll check back in with you guys in a second. A day later, and after many hours of scraping, this is the final product. Well, I say final, but I have a little bit of black residue right here. So I have the uh, aircraft um, stuff sitting on it right now. You can kind of see it bubbling up just barely. It's pretty much clean. I'm not gonna worry about the tail section or where the, the seat bolt goes through there it's going to be hidden i don't really care and it kind of gives it like a, a built-in garage kind of a look i did use degreaser on it but it's not completely clean and uh yeah let's put it on the bike see how it looks i'm not quite sure what handlebars these are called i've seen them before but i don't remember the name they kind of lean forward slightly and they got the holes in the side and they're pretty narrow. I'm replacing them with the Biltwell Frisco bars and also some red diamond grips. Let's go over to the table and check it out. So these are the bars I'm gonna be putting on the bike. They are, like I said, the Biltwell Frisco bars. They're smooth edition, non-dimpled. And then I have these diamond grips also from Biltwell. And I think this is a Biltwell throttle sleeve. Not sure, just found it in the garage. Um, and then I got the ha hairspray to get on that pesky grip because this shit does not like to go in. So any lube helps, if you know what I mean. Got it. All right, now let's go ahead and take off these handlebars and risers.
Just a quick comparison before I put the new bars on the bike. These are the old ones, those are the new ones. These ones have way more pullback, as you can see, than the Frisco style bars. These seem to be a bit narrower from end to end than these. I did cut these down an inch off each side. I think they were 28 inches wide before I cut them. So now I think they're about 26 or 25 and a half, something like that. I'm not sure what the measurements on these are, but you can tell how much pullback those have compared to these. These are almost flat. Truth be told, I kind of like the pullback better on these than I do on those, but I just like the style of the tubing better on that than I do with the kind of the squarish, squared off edges and then the holes. Not a big fan of that. So let's get these bars on the bike. All right, that's the final product. Everything's all buttoned up and nice and secure. What do you guys think? I like the look of these way better, but like I said, the pullback on the other one is it's a bit more forgiving. This one's a bit flat, but it's all right. Style over comfort, right? Is that what this hardtail bobber build kind of thing is for? I'm building this for comfort. So yeah, thanks for watching. Next, I'm gonna be installing the fender, or welding on the fender, and also welding on the sissy bar. And like I mentioned in my first video, I've never actually welded before. My neighbor has a welder. He's gonna teach me how to weld, and I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna go for it. If I fuck it up, you know, whatever. Just, I guess, adds to the ambiance of the whole bike. But yeah, stay tuned. We'll see how it goes.